Skip, get schooled with Mr. C. Don't lose your head. Let's do some science. Today we explore the wonderful world of pH, the power of hydrogen. Two heads are better than one. The Cabbage Patch. Oh yeah, Mr. C can't dance. <laughs> Today we are working with red cabbage. We're gonna be using this red cabbage as an indicator to determine whether an object is an acid or a base. Power of hydrogen. hydrogen. It looks like a brain. Ooh, that's gross, look at that. I do not like cabbage, but I'm gonna encourage all of you guys to go out and eat your vegetables. We're gonna be using this red cabbage as an indicator to determine whether or not we have an acid or a base. Red cabbage is used as an indicator because it contains a chemical in it called anthocyanin. I think I said that correctly. If I didn't, let me know. If I did, thank you. We are turned on and ready to roll. First things first, we need to get some water into our Blendtec. This is distilled water. We're gonna grab a part of the cabbage. Look at that, that's gross. Three, two, one. All right, that's probably pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pour, ugh. Smells <coughs> <was> horrible. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, it smells so bad. Gross. All right, so what we need to do is we need to actually um, strain this and get out all of the chunky parts. All right, so I have my empty gallon for my distilled water and I've got my strainer right here. I'm gonna put this funnel there. Oh gosh, it smells so bad. It smells, it smells horrible, <laughs> gosh. If you like cabbage, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like cabbage, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's put a lid on that so the smell is contained. Wow, that did not give me back as much juice as I wanted. All right, let me get rid of this. Actually, I'll just dump it in there. Oh, <laughs> I totally missed. Look at this. Ugh, ah, gross. So what we have here is our cabbage juice. Now, cabbage, red cabbage, has a special chemical in it called anthocyanin. Now that we have our three containers here, let's talk about acids and bases. Seven is considered neutral, it's right in the middle. And that's what red cabbage juice does for us. It's a neutral indicator, right? So it has a pH of seven. Acids are things that are acidic, have a pH lower than seven. Bases typically have a pH higher than seven. So right now everything is neutral. So we're gonna add something to our containers to see if it changes. This indicator is gonna turn a color. If it turns red, it's considered an acid. If it turns blue or green and goes in that direction, it's gonna be a base. So what we're gonna do is I have vinegar here. We're gonna just pour a little bit of vinegar in this. That is so cool. It turns pink. So we know it went towards the red. So vinegar is an acid. So I have some baking soda and I'm not quite sure what this is gonna do or what it's gonna turn to. So I'm gonna dump that in. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. So it turns blue, which indicates that it's a base. Now what's really cool is you can grab some different things in your house and actually test them. I'm curious what might happen is if I add some baking soda to this. I don't know if it's gonna change back or not. 
I'm gonna wipe this off. Oh, gross. Ah, oh, it stinks so bad. It smells. Pew. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh, 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 that is so cool. All right, so what we're having is an eruption. We're having a chemical reaction on top of it. And we're producing carbon dioxide, but I want you to look at the color. So it was pink, I added the baking soda back to it, back into it, and it turned purple again. So we brought that acidic mixture back down to almost a neutral color. Those are about the same. So I wonder if I add more baking soda to that, if it would continue to get um, darker and bluer. All right, but we're gonna try something else. I'm gonna dump these out and we're gonna try some lemon. I have some lemons in the fridge and I wanna see what else I can dig up. Maybe some like uh, detergent and things like that. So hang tight, I'll be back in three seconds. All right, so we're back. I just rinsed out my cup so that we could do another experiment. Uh, let's go ahead and try this again. All right, so. Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, I got cabbage juice in my eye or something, yikes. All right, so we did our vinegar. We knew that was an acid based on the results. Get that out of the way. We also did the baking soda, which was a base. But what I have here is some soap detergent from downstairs in our laundry room, and I have a lemon. So I'm gonna cut this lemon up. So I'm just squeeze a little bit out. All right, we're gonna squeeze. Did you see that? It's squirting all over the place. All right, we're gonna put the lemon in. And just like the vinegar, it turns really bright pink. Lemon is an acid. Awesome. So now we have this detergent. I really have no idea what it's gonna do. I'm gonna pour this in here. Nice, that is so cool. Look how blue it is. So it's blue, it still has a little bit of a purple tint to it, just slightly. So maybe it's not as basic as the baking soda was. So there you have it. That's what you can do at your house. You can use red cabbage to actually determine if things are acids or bases in your house. It makes for a great indicator.